What is going on guys, it's Fan 97 and now I'll be showing you guys how to use Adobe Photoshop CS6 and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and before we start, you know, go ahead and leave a lovely like in the description uh, which helps me grow out my channel and make you guys more videos. So before we start, um, I didn't do my giveaway yet, uh, I'm still thinking of one, I know it's been a little late but I will for sure get one. Um, so just stay tuned for that, you never know what's going to come. I'm pretty sure it might come by this Friday. So this Friday, for sure, 100%, there will be a giveaway. So a giveaway video. So that's going to be the actual 100% video. So let's go ahead and start in our Adobe Photoshop. So um, you may, you guys may be beginners. Um, this is only for a beginner's guide. So if you're advanced or you're professional, then um, you can take these tips, but they're not going to be as helpful because you probably know all of these. So, so we're going to go ahead and import a photo. So the first thing you want to go do is go into File and click Open. As you can tell, I am on a Mac, um, that's okay. You may be on a Windows. Uh, Adobe Photoshop is basically, the, it's just a program, so it works exactly the same, except you may have different um, shortcuts and different um, like places to find stuff. So I'm gonna go to File and Open. It can be Command O, you know, everything's different on a Mac, of course, than a Windows would. So just find your way, you know, get there, and you should do the same. So I'm gonna go into Pictures, and I'm gonna go ahead and select one. So I'm gonna go with a just a simple uh, wallpaper. Um, we're gonna do a, you know some. I'm gonna just uh, show you these four uh, tools right here, and then I'm gonna go next, like the next tutorial, all these tools, and then the next day, and then the next day, and then I keep on making more tutorials. Although um, it's gonna be a little, uh, it's gonna be a little um, organized, so that's gonna be good. So I'm going to select. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go with this one we'll go with this one just because of like a this really nice beautiful uh, wall, uh, wallpaper so um, it's really really Photoshop is really um, simple to use in a way but if you're a beginner it might be like well I just open it uh, what do I do like this looks very <laughs> it's like what what do I do so um, you know it's not that hard really so right here if you click on this it gives you a uh, like a little notification that says move tool and then it gives you the shortcut key which is V so if you're working with this and you click V on your keyboard then it just switches back to move key or to the move tool and move basically allows you to move um, it uh, let's see I know you guys are like well what did he just do but what this does it basically allows you to move a picture if you click and drag normal just normally click and drag is allows you to move the canvas uh, which is the image right here and to accept it or to place it there you can't just leave it there because then it's you know it, it just you can't so you're gonna have to click this check mark uh, right there or just on your computer if you're on a Mac press command enter or if you're in a Windows press control enter and that will do the same uh, if you want to edit or transform the picture you will go to command T for the shortcut again these are shortcuts uh, I'm gonna be doing more shortcuts but to keep it easy for you guys I'm gonna go into uh, edit and then you want to make sure you have your layer selected you know I'm gonna be doing different uh, tutorials so just you know keep it uh, you know simple don't go all crazy so to transform this you want to go into edit uh, and then you want to go to free transform uh, if you go to transform this basically gives you more options that you would transform free transform basically allows you to transform it to however you'd like and not having it a specific dimension so if you were to scale it you can actually just scale it like this, but if you notice, it kind of moves the whole entire image. So what you do is you hold down Shift and then you click and drag one on any of these four corners. Um, you can do it like this, but it just moves the top and the bottom, so that doesn't work. So just make sure it's on the corner. Shift, click and drag, and that will just stay in proportion. So that is nice to know. So if we go back to Edit and Free Transform. That just Free Transform is everything in here rotate you know you can rotate the image like this and whatnot um, you can go you can also just right click on this and do have the same options uh, as you would with edit so you can go to rotate oh, I already told you that you can go to screw screw um, no one really uses screw as much so we don't I'm not gonna really talk about it so just move on to that so you can uh, go into perspective um, now perspective let me let me just check that so command T to go into transform and if you go into um, perspective 
you can change the if, see if you click and drag um, you can also shift but it, if you shift it kind of gives you that really cool proportion now as you move up your mouse then it kind of gives you it nor narrows it down so you know if you were to look from far away you just sliding it from you're holding down shift and you click on one of these corners so shift click so shift hold down shift and then you click and drag it left and right to make it like this uh, and uh, that's pretty cool you can also do it um, right here there's also another one if you click hold down shift and click this will allow you to do it like this um, like a parallelogram if I said that correctly, you can you know do it like this from the bottom, from the side. If you move it up, it's gonna go like this. So you know it has all its you know unique features. And then we have warp, which basically warps it. This is better for um, like if we were to you know warp something like a face or something. You know have it in a good um, in a good position, then you could do that. So of course that's not gonna be the best for this picture. So that's all, everything in the transform, but that is what uh, Move does. So yeah, this is the uh, the it's like rectangular marquee tools. They're marquee tools, and a marquee tool. Let me delete. Well, I could have to do this. Command J. Command J basically copies the layer from the bottom. Again, I'm gonna do that layers in a different tutorial. So um, the rectangular marquee tool. If you click and drag, just click and drag. Um, this will um, select uh, or give you a marching ants, in other words, um, Photoshop speaking, uh, marching ants, which basically um, anything in here will be infect affected. So if you were to paint something, um, let me go ahead and select uh, my brush, I'm going to make it bigger, hardness. So if you were to color something only in this uh, selected um, mar marquee tool or margin will be affected, but nothing else on the outside. So if I were to paint on the outside, nothing will be affected. But if you paint inside the margin, then it will be affected. So that's really, really, really cool feature that Photoshop has. Now, I didn't tell you this, but this will, the features in Photoshop CS6 um, probably has it in CS5 and CS4. I don't know um, beyond that, like CS3 and CS2. So I would just stay up update updated if you can. Uh, so yeah, um, that basically um, you know does that and whatnot. So uh, I'm just gonna Command D to unselect that. If you were to go to Edit um, and go down to Image, there should be a dis. There we go. There deselect, so it should be clear. Clear basically clears everything that's inside the margin, which is a really cool, unique feature. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take that off for right now. So these are basically just tools, different kinds of tools. Um, this is the lasso tool, which um, it's kind of like a lasso tool, if that makes any sense. But if you were to select, say you wanted to select um, the rims of this car, you can just click and draw around it. Just click and drag around this I did a really terrible job and this basically creates a margin like I showed you um, last time or previously um, it's like a marquee tool and you can do anything you want in here you can affect anything that's inside of this so um, if you were to like um, you can do layer via copy this will copy whoops this will copy a um, just this right here will just copy the rims so that is a, a really cool cool feature so you can see right here if you switch back to the move tool which is v you can click and drag and there you go so that's pretty cool i'm gonna delete that by pressing delete delete oh goodness how do i delete it let's see i forgot how to, oh, let's see delete Delete layer two. I don't know why my delete key wasn't working, but yeah, you can go to click on it and click delete right here. But yeah, that's how it works. Um, that's just a lasso tool. It's just like a free tool. Polygonal lasso tool. Let me zoom into this picture. Polygonal uh, tool. If you were to click on this, you can see if you, once you click, um, and I'm not holding down anything. I'm just moving my mouse. It kind of it's like point to point, kind of like um, connect the dots in a way. So like if you wanted to select this it works better for straight um, lines so if you were to select this elevator 
little place you can just click all you're doing is left clicking and you would just go like this you know like that you're just clicking until you get to the very end, uh, to the start point and once you move your mouse over it will give you a little circle right there and you click that again and again it created a margin or marching ants and whatever you do inside here will be affected you can also just you know right click layer via copy to copy whatever is in here um, you can create a new layer from that you can also deselect that's how you go that's how you deselect you right click on it and you click deselect no matter what you're doing if it's a margin or marching ants you could right click inside of it and click deselect or um, the easy shortcut command D or control D uh, so yeah that's really really cool and that's basically it now the magnetic lasso tool is an interesting one because if you were to select something that's more tightly um, tight so like say the uh, it won't work very good if there's a lot of um, like a lot of contrast like it's really dark in some some places like right here you can't even see where it starts so this won't be a good good selection so I'm gonna start with the windows so if you just you, all you gotta do is just like the polygonal tool you just click and you drag and it's gonna um, magnetize in a way whatever um, you're dragging to so if you mess up you're basically screwed <laughs> so you have to go uh, let's see what is it I know this one this shift whoops uh, what is it oh crap okay let's redo that so you click and you just move your mouse along whatever you're gonna be selecting and this just selects it freely and you click again and you click again to move it like point to point and you can just select this mirror right there um, so let me do this really quickly I don't want to spend too much time so um, once you've you know all around it and you uh, click it's gonna show a little circle you click on that and again it brings up the margin so uh, that's basically it now this is the quick selection tool the quick selection tool if you right click or if you click and drag um, it will highlight whatever is in it but let me zoom out you can tell that this isn't the very best one I don't really use this because it kinda sucks but you can select um, like a high contrast but that it doesn't really work with good with dark colors so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with a new picture so file open and I'm gonna go with I don't know with this one right here as you can tell I like BMWs <laughs> so let's not save that so say I wanted to select these right here you would just click and drag and you can see it selected uh, just by clicking you can click and drag to make it even bigger as you can see it creates margins again like marching ants that's what it's called marching ants so whatever you do you know inside is gonna be affected you can also copy it do whatever paint text whatever is gonna be in here um, but you know you can affect everything um, like if you were to go to image adjustments contrast you can change the brightness in here if you wanted to and that really works really well so um, yeah this isn't a very good feature like it if you just want to select this um, it works it sometimes works good and sometimes it doesn't so yeah um, but that's pretty much it uh, the magic uh, the magic wand tool um, basically this is not the good one as well these two are not the best but if you click um, it selects a lot of the high contrast high contrasted colors which is the bright colors and that's not good because if you were just to select oh I just want to select this window well you can but you can see that it's like all messed up and it's only selecting the high colors or the contrast um, so I wouldn't do this so yeah um, then we have finally our crop tool so let me zoom out when you um, let's see right there I can't really well whatever um, the crop tool um, when you click on it you can click and drag you can see it gives you these uh, corners and whatnot but they're not marching ants you can just click and drag up or down and whatever is in here as you can see it just grayed out that's that means it's not gonna be part of the image once you crop it out that means it, this is gonna be cropped out and this is what's gonna be cropped in So if you were to click and drag like this you know move it however you like you can also move it the entire image you're not moving you're not moving 
the actual um, cr the crop margin, whatever you're gonna call it, it doesn't move that. It only you can only move the uh, the image to however you want it. Say I only wanted like the car, you can just click and drag like that, and then drag down, and then you click check or command enter, control enter, and that will crop it down to this. Now, if you don't like the little um, selected uh, uh, area, you right click and well, no, you press Command D. Oh no, you can't press the. You can't deselect on crop because you're cropping an image. You can't just deselect it. So yeah, if you just want to deselect it, well, hit my microphone. You would just press V for the shortcut because it's the move tool, and that will take it off. But yeah, so if you right click, you can reset the crop and this basically just reset resets it to back to its normal form just like this so if you mess something up you can just right click and click reset crop um so i'll be you know i'll get more into detail so you know and last but not least is the eyedropper tool the eyedropper tool if you go into anywhere here say you, like you wanted to sample this color you, just, um, you have your color panel right here, and if you don't have it, you go into Window, you go into Color, and since it's checked, that means I do have it on my right side. You click Color or F6 to bring it up, and if you don't have, if you messed up like with the stuff here, you can go to Window, Workspace, and Reset Essentials, Essentials, and that will reset uh, Photoshop to its normal original format. So yeah, uh, if you wanted to sample a color, you can just click and drag. And this is a new feature in CS6 that CS5 does not have, where it has this little color wheel and gives you an, like a sample or a preview of the color that you're sampling from. So like say I wanted this color right here, you got the colors and the place numbers. <laughs> you got your reds, greens, and blues. Um, you got your swatches where you can change colors and yeah this samples the whole entire color if you click it normal click uh, as in left click you get the actual i don't know what this is called but you get this code right here which brings up the color which is really nice if you're going to be doing lots of paintings and stuff so my next tutorial i'll be doing these i'll do these four and then these next four on my next tutorial so i don't make it all long so if this actually helped you in any way then you know don't forget to leave a like and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.